and then having a strategy and plan to actually implement that over time, it's going to take a while. You know, Wisconsin's been heading this direction for a long time. Even before Walker, you were getting serious declines in, for example, the Democratic share of assembly seats. That's been going down more or less monotonically with an interruption in 2006, since 1973. You've lost a lot of support for traditional Wisconsin values in Wisconsin over the years. But most of all, well, here's what it requires. It requires people like you. Uh, uh, requires organizing an active, critical mass of citizens who are willing to get on that plan and enact it and stick with it over time. So how do we propose to do this? Well, Bernie has helped us out a lot in, in at least two ways. One is he's clarified the fact that there is a base for those sorts of, you know, broadly, I don't know, Nordic social democratic, call it what you will, values in the U.S. and a way to pay for them, their realization. Uh, that's pretty good. And, and OR, the, the, our revolution, the, the ascendant of, of Bernie's campaign, I mentioned at the beginning, has done us a favor by giving us access to their list of great Bernie supporters during the campaign immediately afterwards. That's about 135,000 people. They're all over the state in all 72 counties. And for us as, as organizers, that's, that's really uh, not quite the holy grail, but close enough, because it gives you something to start with everywhere in the state, which is pretty good if you're trying to start a statewide organization. And then Trump has helped in his own peculiar way by motivating people. As you know, as many of you said, you know, every day there's some new group or form of resistance that's spilling up, you know, whether it's the huddle stuff or indivisible stuff or, you know, uh, uh, you know America without Latinos for a day, you know, this coming Monday, or any number of other protests and actions and emerging networks and resistance cells, and, you know, all sorts of stuff. It's bubbling up. And, and we'll talk about what the, the problems with fragmentation that some of you had brought up that that naturally raises. Uh, but uh, one thing that is done, I think, one thing Trump has done is certainly persuade almost everybody in America with a brain that who's in government actually matters. You know, I don't hear anymore, oh, well, you know, Obama's just the same as anybody else, and, you know, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter at all at the national level. And I think Walker maybe have sort of swayed people that who runs the government of Wisconsin better. And then certain mayors and sheriffs are doing the persuasion for us as well. Okay, so that's good. Our values, you know, I said it's a value-centered organization. There's no mystery here. Our values are pretty much plain, old, uh, uh, sincere, quite traditional American values. Here's what we're into. Freedom. We like liberty and freedom. Get out of my face. Let me associate with whoever I want. Don't tread on me. Freedom. Okay? Liberty and freedom. Opportunity. I want a shot. I want a chance to develop my capacities. My God-given capacities. Wherever they came from, I want to be. I want a chance to make a mark in the world. I want to do something. All right? And I want the opportunity to do that. Responsibility. Clean up your own shift. You know, clean up your room. You know, if you're a teenager, clean up your, your stuff, your poop, excuse my language, but you understand what I'm saying. And also, you know, and community. You know, if you got an old lady who's getting run over by a bus, you know, pull her to the side. That's responsibility. Maybe help her along the street. You know, that, that sort of community. People are crazy. They're, you know, they're hell. They're a definition of hell. But we need them. You know, we love them. We need them. We depend on them. And if we're among them, we ought to, you know, watch out for them a little bit and not you know, just yell at them all the time, okay? So opportunity, responsibility, community, freedom, and t democracy, equal, equal respect for everybody, and uh, you know, self-rule in government. That's what ties it together for us. Are the values clear? Do they seem totally strange, bizarre, left-wing to you? Freedom, opportunity, responsibility, community, democracy? They don't to me, but we'll see what your reactions in the small group. The broad outlines of a program are also sort of clear. I mean, Bernie did a version of this at the national level. We'll do a version of this at the, at the state level. What are they? Well, you've got to repair this democratic process, which in Wisconsin is really broken. Talked about that already. We should take that, what's called the high road, you know, try to get jointly with under market demanding conditions, equity, sustainability. Uh, and democracy sort of working together in the economy to, to make uh, economic growth more equitable and environmentally sustainable. We know how to do this. The center I run at Cal is the University of Wisconsin, Madison, 
does this all the time. We do it all over, now we're doing it sort of all over the world, but we've certainly done it in lots of other states. We're very confident in this. It's not a weird model of economic development. It's fairly basic stuff rooted in productivity. I don't want to talk your ear off about it, but I'm totally confident, believe me, trust me, Richard Nixon would say, we can have an equitable economy that doesn't completely wreck the earth. Uh, even under you know current conditions of property ownership, upgrade the quality and delivery of public goods. You know, Walker's given back a little bit of money to the public schools. You know that he took away before to give you know all of his big donor friends. Uh, uh, he's maybe putting a little bit of money back to the university. But basically, you know, the, the, the quality of public goods in Wisconsin has declined very very considerably on on all the basic measures: the rural roads, the quality of the roads. You know, look at the broadband uh, in, in rural areas, it's sort of pathetic. You know, talk to people out there, they say, you know, they can't even get a connection half the time, much less high speed. It's really bizarre, you know, what we've done to just wipe those people off. Uh, and transportation, mobility, what we've done on energy is, you know, I do a lot of work in that, it's close to me, I'm very concerned about climate stuff, but the energy stuff is preposterous in Wisconsin, if I may speak uh, directly. We export, but we're not an oil producer, you can say. We don't have a lot of coal mines here. We export then for all of our energy costs, which are about $15 billion a year. We could be entirely energy self-sufficient in Wisconsin if we put our heads to it. We do much more in energy efficiency, renewable generation, blah, blah, blah. That's, uh, you know, everywhere you go in Wisconsin, the, the, the quality of public goods and their, and their provision of equal protection and equal opportunity for everybody in this society, the very basic function of government in a democracy has, has been degraded under Walker.